Good morning to all Decalol shareholders and prospective shareholders. I'm Lincoln Moore, the Executive Director of Decalol. This is podcast three in a series of podcasts that we'll be doing to release uh, information and flavour in terms of results. And this one focuses in on the December 2018 results uh, released this morning, the 27th of June. Really, in summary, the the results uh, confirm what I think we all suspected and knew. It was a very tough uh, year for trading conditions, uh, the external factors which are, I guess, critical to uh, our operating performance. Uh, unfortunately, all worked uh, against us uh, during the year. Uh, just to just to briefly summarise those, uh, palm oil price uh, on average for the year was down from 680 euros a tonne to 540 euros a tonne. Uh, we had a, a fall in production uh, down 16%. Really, uh, it's been confirmed by other players in the market, really what everyone uh, confirmed was it was seen as a rest year in terms of agriculture. And of course, we, we're seeing improvements this year, which we'll touch on, on later. But the, the fall in production of 16% uh, Drew, drove, drove raw material prices substantially higher as well. So we, we're paying a lot more for our fresh fruit bunches than we've had previously. So uh, these really these main factors together meant that both the revenue line uh, dropped quite considerably and we also had uh, uh, relatively higher cost of sales, which, which led to a significant contraction in our gross margin line and gross margin percentage. And, that, and that's really where uh, the damage was done. Uh, below gross margin, we did, a, what I believe, is a, is a good job of uh, maintaining and reducing the fixed overhead and uh, to limit the, uh, the net loss that we achieved this year to as low as uh, possible. So it, it's sad, sad, it's sadly to say it is a, a year that all these factors, uh, price, production, uh, are somewhat out of our control. So I guess it, it begs the question, you know, what, 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 is in our, our control and what have we done and what we're continuing to do um, to improve performance uh, during 2019 and obviously also to mitigate the, the, the performance in 2018. So during 2018, uh, I think some of the things we are in control of is is the milling operation. Uh, pleased to say that we had a year of very minimal to no uh, milling disruption. That's largely due, due to a, um, a more extensive uh, maintenance program that we implemented at the back end of 2017, which also uh, completed in early 2018, it actually led to uh, maintenance costs being around about 600,000 uh, euros higher than their typical level. Um, please say that that's that that sort of maintenance level is is abnormal. So it was it was done to really you know to firm up the mill after four years of operation. So we expect to see maintenance start to reduce back to typical levels around about uh, one to 1.2 million uh, going forward. So the the mill operated well. Um, we operated and opened new logistic centres really to ensure that we maintain and enhance our market share of fruit in the region. Of course, as I touched on, the fruit in the market itself was down around about 17% and we were down 16%. So we did hold our, our market share, which is, which is pleasing. Uh, we also uh, did our best in terms of buying external kernels from other palm oil players. And then whilst the overall production was low, we actually increased our PKO or palm kernel oil production uh, primarily through buying more kernels. So that, that helped uh, the performance somewhat. We also uh, did a lot with our customers on pricing. Um, you know, we were able to sell at 500, 540 euros a tonne, which compared to the international market price of 504, nearly a 10% premium. So that, that was able to uh, mitigate the, the damage done by the, by the factors not in our favour. We continue to look at the overheads. We, we, we run a, a very tight overhead uh, line anyway, but there were some areas that we were able to uh, make some cuts, primarily around contract uh, labour and uh, contract equipment, but, but small areas across the board which has taken over 10% out of the, the fixed overhead level. And some of these items were implemented during 2018. So we'd be confident to say that we should see continued uh, decrease in overheads in 2019. An interesting one uh, and one that we've been 
working on for a while is you know working with smallholders on the fertilizer program we've we've looked at a number of different ways to implement a program we we think this is critical it's something that um, perhaps we don't see the benefits from immediately but you know high levels of fertilizer among smallholders is the potential to double their uh, their output which would go a long way to bringing our mill towards its operating capacity We've implemented and tested a new program whereby smallholders uh, are provided a small amount of fertiliser each month, uh, which is offset against fruit that they bring to our mill. So it encourages, one, smallholders to bring fruit to our mill, uh, and, and two, at the same time, uh, ensures that they are fertilising, increasing the overall market fruit uh, available. So that that test program has been successful and we're trying to roll that out on a more substantial basis. We'd love to, to see it uh, supported by one of the, the global uh, DFI type world banks, similar to our uh, nursery program that we operated for three years. And we think that uh, in time, this can be go a long way to, to increasing the fruit levels so our mill can operate at capacity. So in terms of operating type um, initiatives, that's probably the main items that we, we did, which certainly made a material impact on our, positive impact on our results. Uh, I think it's, you know, if we look at other players in our markets, uh, the biggest player, Palm C, lost 19 million euros last year. So it just, just shows what a difficult year it is. And, and one would suspect that uh, palm oil prices at these cyclical lows, it's difficult to see it uh, continuing in the, certainly in the medium term, at least, because it, it, it's simply very difficult for palm oil players. And indeed, uh, our compatriots in soya make money with prices at this level going forward. From the more strategic and balance sheet perspective, we touched on the announcement that we, we're looking to rebalance our, our debt structure. Uh, the main you know, thing we're trying to do is increase the tenure and reduce the, the principal debt burdens in the short term. Uh, really you know, working forward where you know, we need to work on the assumption not that we expect it to be the case, but that palm oil prices continue at this level, we need to have a debt structure that, that suits those. So we have been working on a uh, long-term refinance uh, for a number of months now, and we, we hope to, to share information on the completion, but I think it's uh, positive news in terms of uh, providing further stability to our, our balance sheet. And this is uh, particularly important getting into the next initiative, of course, is you know, the next level of the area of growth, which is the, the cashew development, uh, which we, we announced we had a, an equity injection at the project level by a third party. And it, it, it's, it's basically in the process of starting um, construction now. So we expect to announce something very shortly on that also. And, you know, there's no doubt that next year we'll be in the position where we'll be operating with both palm oil production and uh, cashew production in a much, much more substantial operation. So I think uh, these initiatives, and, and we're of course always looking at other project opportunities as well, really shows that I think within 12 months we're going to be a substantially larger business and I think there's other opportunities for us to to grow even further despite the reasonably difficult uh, market conditions. In early 2019 I think uh, we'll, we will announce our uh, production uh, for the half year next week. We've indicated that, that the market conditions for fruit have improved materially so we'll confirm those numbers with you all next week. Uh, it certainly, certainly is welcome relief if you look at the factors which affected us in 2018. It was pretty much the, other than price, the major factor was less less production and pressure on the the fruit costs. So with two of those boxes um, being ticked, being fruit improving and raw material prices moving back to more reasonable levels, two of the three major factors which affected our results last year have dissipated. And uh, you know we just simply look at really at the, the palm oil prices, the major last uh, component of, of continuing to prove, improve the performance. So we look forward to announcing those production numbers next week. And we've intentionally uh, set our uh, shareholder call uh, to be following that. There's details of that on the announcement and welcome shareholders to send in questions in advance. Uh, and we'll run through as many of them as possible. And of course, uh, later in July, we'll be holding our AGM as well. So another opportunity for shareholders to, to ask questions and uh, to talk through some of, the, some of the strategy issues that we're working on at the moment. So that, that pretty much summarizes the results. 
But again, I, I think we'll be back next week with uh, some updates on the half-year production. Look forward to that. And uh, I, I thank you all uh, for your support.